Hey, what's going on guys, The Last Bear here and as I mentioned in my last video, today I'm gonna show you how to install a trip computer to your pet exercise wheel or your bike. The process is absolutely the same. If you haven't seen that video yet, it's about our brand new hedgehog cage and everything that's inside of it. I'll put the link in the description box below. With this little thing you can measure the maximum, minimum and average speed, the distance and the time your pet spin its exercise wheel and also you can use it as a temperature indicator in your cage. Here is everything that's inside the box. That's your user manual. It comes with 35 inches wire connected in one of the sides to the speed sensor and the other side is the speedometer holder. Here is the trip computer itself. It has a very lightweight, nice built material. It's got a big enough screen to read everything that you need. It's powered by one CR2032 battery located on the back. That's your spoke magnet. If you decide to install this on your bike, you can easily unscrew this bolt right here, attach it to one of your wheel spokes and tie them back together. Then you have to attach the speed sensor to your bike fork using one of the zip ties and you are good to go. Just pay attention that the space between the magnet and the speed sensor doesn't have to be more than 2 millimeters, otherwise your computer is not gonna work. Next you have two rubber slices, a couple of zip ties and here is the box itself. Before we get started, here is everything that you're gonna need for the process. Here is my quiet exercise wheel, the trip computer, little magnet that comes with the trip computer, a couple of zip ties, metal plate, something like this or similar. I bought this from our local AC store and it's around three and a half inches long by inch and a half wide. Data sensor. I also have this super glue or any kind of glue that is gonna work with metal and plastic. When you start it for the first time, you're gonna set your wheel circumference and here is how to do that. In my case, I'm gonna install this on my Hedgehog exercise wheel, which is 12 inch in diameter. To do that, you have to turn 12 inches into millimeters and that is exactly 304.8. And here is the formula. So the circumference is the diameter of the wheel times pi or 304.8 times 3.14 and that's equal to 957 millimeters. You can go back to your speedometer and set it to 0957. Next, on the screen you can choose between kilometers and miles. The next settings is for your maintenance program. It's used to remind you for the parts replacement or to lubricate the chains, the wheels after the desired dis distance is reached. Once you set everything on the top of the screen, you can see your current speed and by pressing the right button, you can cycle through odometer. That's your total distance as long as the exercise wheel or your bike is moving. Next one is your distance meter. Here is your maximum and average speed. That is the time, it records only the time spent actual moving. And the last one is your temperature. Or you can leave it on scan, now the computer will cycle between all of these data on the screen without pressing any buttons. So here is how you're gonna install the speed sensor and your magnet on your exercise wheel. Use one of the zip ties to attach the sensor to the metal plate. Get your marker and mark a little dot on the back of the wheel where your sensor arrow is aimed. Squeeze a little bit of glue on the magnet and set it on the marked position. As I mentioned before, don't forget that the distance between the magnet and the sensor must be 2 mm or less, otherwise the computer is not gonna work. If your sensor is not close enough to the magnet, you can simply use one of the provided rubber plates, as you can see on the screen, 
and you are good to go. And finally, if you installed everything correctly, your trip computer should work perfectly. For 12 inch wheel, one full spin is 95.7 centimeters, that's about 1 meter, or otherwise said it's a little bit more than 3 feet. So that's pretty much it guys, I'll put the links for everything that you see in the video in the description box below. I hope you have enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time, bye bye.